Hello everyone. I uh, have been working on this journal and finished it yesterday. Actually, I was going to do it, the video on it and then I decided I wanted to put a little charm there. And I made this little charm. It's right here, but I uh, used glossy ac accents and they haven't quite finished setting up yet, but that's just a was a little metal blank and then I Put a picture in there and the glossy accents and then I added that little angel so when it's finished it will just go like right here I think it'll look cute there so I didn't want to put too much on this cover because as you can see it's a uh, it has a lot going on uh, with this picture it's a beautiful book this is one that was um, given to me by my friend Jamie these books belong to her mom, and she wanted, you know, after her mom was gone, she wanted to give them to me, which I really, really appreciate. So it's like no trouble to go in and dig through that box of books and find something that inspires me. And it didn't take me long to see this one. I really like the title, The Rebel of the School by Mrs. L. T. Mead. Um, because it had such a pretty cover and it's a nice size and I put a lot in it so the closure is a Tim Holtz hitching post with a ball chain and I decided to use fabric on the inside um, this is some fabric that was given to me by, by my sister and I really like that like the design and it went well with this so each signature starts with, because of the school, right, I, I started each signature <clears throat> with a page from a big, giant teacher ledger book that I got in a thrift store. It was, uh, I think it said 1935 or 36, and it was just, uh, I think there was only one teacher in the school, and she had an assortment of pupils in different grade levels, and she managed to keep track of all of them, and write remarks about them and um, their grades. It was, it's kind of interesting. So here they are, um, yeah, 1935. So anyway, it was nice sturdy paper too, considering how old it is. So in this one, I just used a lot of my dyed papers. I like to dye paper and mix in some stencils and inks and get some interesting effects and um, don't get it, you know, I don't don't get it too dark, so you can still write on it, but I like it as a background. So here's just a little cluster I made. This is the original title of the book, The Rebel of the School. And this picture here actually came from a magazine. I think it was a, an advertisement for a movie, maybe. But uh, I thought it looked really great there since it had a book. And so I found these ads for different schools. This one is the Art Institute of Pittsburgh. So I I just made like a little cluster there with some washi tape and paper and then I added this girl. Um, so here's some paper with some spray inks on it. And this is a page from the Butterfly Book. And this is an old letter that I put some napkin collage on. And then in here is a tag I made. So you can kind of almost see there's a picture of two kids up here holding hands. And some just some colored tissue that was left over from my um, bleeding tissue dyeing ex uh, experiment. I saved all the little scraps of tissue and used them in collage. A cluster. This is some beet dyed paper. Or, yeah, I think it's beet. Kind of looks like avocado. So, um, in the pocket here, we have a page from one of the those little mini ledgers I, I got at that thrift store. which it has, it has some writing space on there. And this is actually a magnet. I like this picture. And there's one of those little ads for a different, a different school. This one is the School of Music, Dancing, Dramatics, Languages, Literature, and Art. And uh, 
here's a tag I made. Two pictures. Actually, this is one picture. I cut it out of an old catalog. I like the outfits. And then I just did a collage background. And just made this little tuck spot here out of an old photo. A cluster I made. This is some uh, a page from the wrapping paper sample book I got. Well, actually, my sister found it um, in a at a garage sale, I think. It has some really neat old wrapping paper in it. And since it's kind of fragile, I just folded the edges in and put this little trim I made at the top there to kind of reinforce it. So um, I, this is a pleated paper belly band with, with some stitching on it and a tag. I included some pages from the Rubiat of Omer Khayyam because the pictures just made me think of students, you know, kind of lounging around on the grounds between classes, getting together and visiting and talking. So, um, so there's a couple pictures in, in here from that book. And can you see the face peeking through? So this is some of the paper I dyed with the bleeding tissue. And I like how you can just see that face showing through. This is a tape transfer. It's done with packing tape and you just put the packing tape on a picture that you want to transfer and burnish it down really well and then um, cut around it, to take it to the sink and get all that paper rubbed off the back and you're ended up you end up with sort of, sort of a transparent sticker. I've made these before and um, they're kind of interesting. You can take any picture and turn it into a, um, a transfer. A uh, book page with some gesso and napkin collage. So here's a little uptuck with this little journaling card in it. Yeah, that's avocado dyed. I had sort of had some fun experimenting making my own trims, which this was just some leftover scraps. You know how you always end up with those skinny long pieces when you cut paper down. So I used that paper to make trims. And uh, here are some wallpaper with uh, tissue paper on the back to make it stronger. And uh, just a journaling card with a picture from an art book and some stitching. Some more trim I made with some uh, fabric, a little tiny thin strip of fabric and some stitching. This is another one of those advertisements for schools. And this one's about, this one is all about physical education. And another page from the Rubiat of Omer Khayyam. So this is a stitched pocket with a journaling card that's just made with a page from that little mini ledger and uh, an embossed um, stamping that I glued down for decoration. Some more of that. There's the rest of that wrapping paper. Another, um, so these are, so what I do is I put the stamp on something like some thin paper. It could be tracing paper. I use deli paper and then I emboss it. And so when you glue it down, it just sort of disappears onto the page. You can't really tell that it's glued down. It actually looks like it was embossed right on the page. So, and this is a belly band I made. Well, it was going to be a belly band, but then I decided just to just glue it down, actually. A little tuck spot that has a playing card in it because she's playing cards.
And there's a tag in this pocket. With a little tab on it. More from the Butterfly book. It's a beautiful book. It's a fussy cut from a magazine. And a page from the original book, The Rebel of the School. An old advertisement and a collage tag. And this is another uh, ad for a school. And this one, I, it's school for girls. Looks like they do horseback riding, golfing, canoeing. Very outdoorsy. Okay, that's the first signature, and here's the second one. Some more stenciled tea dyed paper. This is an advertisement for a drive in movie theater. I'm not sure what year it's from. Um, it actually was a local drive in theater near where I live, and I mean, there's movies here like Elvis Presley, Girls, 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 and Beach blanket, bingo. So I'm thinking probably early 60s. And so inside this uh, little no snag paper clip is a circus ticket and a ticket for the rodeo. And on the other side of the clip is this postcard of some people dancing in France. Uh, title page from a different book on how to arrange flowers. I like the old record players, so I had this wrapping paper with records on it and thought it would work great in here. Some um, bleeding tissue deli paper, which I didn't do this one. Somebody else did and gave it to me. It's, it's beautiful. Look at how the colors mix together. This is a different transfer method. It's using an image from a magazine and then painting many, many coats of matte medium over it. Like first you go this way, then you go this way, then this way, and so on, until you have several layers. Then same, same idea, take it to the sink, rub off all the paper, and you're left with just the image, which you can then you know, put it down like a sticker. The only thing is they usually are pretty shiny, so I usually take my sanding block and kind of sand it down so it, it's a little more matte. An old photo as a pocket with this little picture of these cute little girls. And the letter with the napkin collage. I think that might be actually tissue. I'm not sure. No, maybe napkin. A photo in a tuck spot. So I have an old Dick and Jane book. This is like one of the first stories in the first book. Um, there's Sally and Dick and Jane spot. It's a book I used to read when I was in, in school. So this one, uh, another one of my Kind of raggedies, but this time I did use it as a belly band. And here's the tag I made with uh, a, an image printed on some overhead projector film, transparency film, on top of a collage tag. A fussy cut flower, and here's another picture from that old book. An envelope I made, which I actually sealed it shut here and turned it into a pocket for this collage tag. So it kind of looks good from both directions, so it really works well in this pocket because you can see it from this side too. There's the title page from the Rubiata of Omer Khayyam. The 
rest of the Dick and Jane story. I just hated to trim any of these pages off, so I just folded it in so I wouldn't lose any part of it. So that's a fussy cut from a magazine. Another cluster. Avocado dyed paper. So this is a picture, I have found this picture at an antique store. If you look closely, you'll see these people are having a little party. So you can see they're, they're drinking and you notice how this lady has like slipped way down on the couch. I think it's just so funny. There's actually three or four pictures that were taken about the same time. One of them where they're all sitting around the piano singing and having a good time. It's kind of a party. And I thought that went with the rebel of the school. I think that the rebel of the school would probably like to go have a party and maybe go with her girlfriends on a road trip. And maybe this could be her boyfriend. This is actually another picture I found at that antique store. I'm always on the lookout for interesting subject matter. So that's an old, these are you know old book pages, but they have lots of writing space on them. There's the rest of the drive-in movie advertisement, and this is actually a scene from a movie that I found in, a, in an old magazine. So some writing space there, and here is the last signature. This one uh, looks like it has the attendance record on it. This book has a border on every page, and they're, they're different. I mean, there's three or four different scenes that are in the book. And I love the border, so I just added some extra writing space by um, just stitching together these three pages of tea-stained paper and sewing it on there and then on this side too. And this is a different wrapping paper from that sample book. I love the coppery shine to it. Some of my homemade trim there. So I found these bags in um, a, a campground restroom. So I remember using these bags when I was in high school. <laughs> but this bag has a picture of this girl with her beautiful Mercedes. Some little Tim Holtz girls. Looks like these are college girls just hanging out. And there's a collage tag I made. And this is, um, it's called a, a Hill banknote. It's kind of some kind of um, Buddhist joss, joss paper. I just thought it looked kind of nice tucked in there. I usually use it for collage, but I thought I'd just stick it in there like some money. Some stenciling on tea stained paper. Here's a page from the Butterfly Book. And a it's not real, but uh, an interesting little report card. Some ruffle trim. I like this picture. I, th I think I found this on Pinterest. It's just um, the look on her face. She just looks done in. Maybe she's a teacher, maybe she's a student, or maybe just a housewife. So in the center of this signature, we, I made two pockets out of the pages of the butterfly book. And then I put these old, I found these old postcards at an antique store. So 
It was a whole set of ones from um, France. This is, I can't pronounce it, but it's some kind of castle. And isn't that beautiful, the fountain? And then um, on the strings, I just stamped these two little birds. And on the back, it just has a text stamp. But so here is, I made this pocket out of a tag that I collaged and inside has it, it has another one of my collage tags with lots of stitching. So I just tipped in this butterfly. Kind of looks like it's flying. It's also from the butterfly book. And a little napkin collage pocket with these two little Tim Holtz kids in it. Which you could write on the back. This is a Graphics 45 rub-on. I sort of I try to remember to get them out when I'm finishing up a journal and to see if I can find some I can use. This is beet stained paper. I think I put a little bit of tea on there too. Here's the rest of that little bag. And here's this, I like this picture also. This girl's, she looks like she spelled the word wrong or read something wrong and her friends are trying to comfort her. And some more of the, those book pages with extra writing on top. And there's the last page. So I just wanted to post this one. I Even though I don't have it quite finished, I'm going to put that charm on there as soon as it's dry. Probably I'll wait till tomorrow. So just I wanted to mention the fact that um, normally I sell my journals at the farmer's market here in my town. But because of the coronavirus, we are not having the farmer's market this year. And... Um, I'm actually considering um, opening an Etsy shop. I don't have one, but I need some place to sell my things. I make these and I also make jewelry, so I might have to get myself an Etsy store. But I did want to mention that um, Jessica Rapp has generously uh, offered to show some other journal maker's work in her show and sell. And she, I sent her about eight of my journals to show which I think she's going to be doing pretty soon, probably sometime this month. So be on the lookout for those at Jessica Rapp's Two Silver Oranges website, or YouTube page, I should say. And um, so this one also will be for sale. I believe it will probably be 125 That's a pretty, pretty thick one, and it's def definitely jammed full of stuff. Okay, so thanks for watching.